Hey everyone, George here and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be uh, hardscaping this Waterbox uh, Peninsula Mini 15. If you remember a video or two ago, we did an unboxing of this particular tank and uh, now we're going to do the hardscaping on this. So uh, what I wanted to talk to you about is we're going to have to do this in a two or three part series and the reason for that is, is I don't have all the materials that I need to work with. Some of that stuff is still coming but uh, I think we're, we're going to do this in a way that I think is going to be enjoyable to you because you're going to see the process of hardscaping uh, from the beginning to the end. Uh, today we're going to be doing substrate, we're going to be doing stone and uh, we're going to be talking about some of the techniques that I use to do that particular part of the hardscaping. Now, the wood for this and some of the plants are not here yet, so I'm hoping within the next few days they will be and we'll be able to complete this series and get this tank up and going. So anyways, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoy this video. Hang in there with me and we'll be right back. Although Seachem is not an official sponsor of this channel, I do hope that you'll go out and try some of their amazing products today. Hey everyone, George here and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, I've got this Waterbox Peninsula Mini 15 set up over here in the corner. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get some substrate in there. Now what I'm going to do is a little bit different than what I have done in the past. I'm going to put some gravel in the very bottom of this and uh, this is a technique that I was shown here a couple of weeks ago and I think it works pretty well uh, based on from what I can see from friends that are doing this. So I'm going to put a layer of uh, gravel on the very bottom and then I'm going to use this product right here, this fluval stratum which is something I use all the time. This is pretty much every tank that I have in here uses this product now. Be careful when you buy this, there are two different types. There is a red stripe up here, which indicates that is for shrimp and invertebrates, really. And then there is this type here that is for fish and uh, escaping um, a aquarium that's gonna be a community tank or a species tank or whatever, but do be careful about that. You wanna look for the green if you're if you don't have invertebrates or you don't intend on having invertebrates if you do get the red one because that is more geared around uh, you know the, the substrate being for invertebrates but anyways we'll put this on the top of that gravel you won't see the gravel we're going to put that in the center and uh, well i'm going to show you so let's get to it so this is the gravel that I'm talking about here and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, this has been in another tank and uh, has had who knows what on it so I'm basically going to take this and I'm going to clean all this gravel. By the way this is uh, if you are looking at the Pisces series uh, which is a great little bow front tank if you're looking for something for a bed of fish or something like that that's a great little tank for that I won't make you watch I'll fast forward
So as you can see, I used maple stone for this particular scape, and the reason for that is, as I said, the porous nature of the stone is it's, it's much like lava rock. Uh, it does encourage the growth of beneficial bacteria, and I, I just think it's a really pretty stone. So it's uh, a stone that I don't use that much anymore. I have used it quite a bit in the past. You've probably seen it in some of my uh, uh, previous scapes, uh, for example, this one here has uh, maple stone in it, but uh, out of the many tanks that I have, I just don't use it as much as I used to. Now, I did run out of the stone at the end there, and uh, when you see the next phase of this project, which will be uh, the placement of the wood and the plants and uh, getting this tank up and going here, uh, you will see that uh, I did add a little bit more maple stone to this as I received some uh, in the mail. So uh, you'll you'll notice that there's there's quite a bit more stone in this in the next uh, part of this series. Anyways, thank you for joining me today. Uh, please leave your comments down below here. I really appreciate it. I always like reading those things. If there's anything that you uh, want to ask me or if you uh, have something that you didn't like about the video that you wanted to mention, uh, please do leave that in the comment section down below here. I will leave a link to Waterbox also, so if you're interested in this particular tank, the uh, Peninsula uh, Mini 15 made by Waterbox then you'll be able to uh, find that. I'll put a direct link to that particular tank down at the bottom. And uh, if you, like I said, if you are interested in that, you can visit them. And uh, they get some great bargains on these tanks. And uh, I think uh, their tanks are the best uh, really out there right now. I know there are other tanks, uh, if you're doing marine or things like that, uh, that are better, but dollar for dollar, I just think that Waterbox makes a amazing tank. So um, visit them, and uh, like I said, uh, you'll find that in the uh, comments uh, or the uh, uh, the section down below that uh, has information about this video. Anyways, again, thank you for joining me. Uh, please uh, like subscribe and share with your friends as well uh, the channel is building and I'm really excited uh, for the next phase of this as you can see we're getting a little better with our videotography here and uh, that is due to the fact that I've got some great people working with me right now and I'm really happy about that also hit that bell up at the top there so any new videos that come out you will get a uh, notification about those so that you don't miss anything. As I said, this is a two-part series, and uh, the next phase of this series, of course, will be finishing the hardscape in here, putting some wood in here. Uh, having a little bit of a struggle with the kind of wood that I'm gonna use in here, but uh, we're gonna get that worked out. But uh, waiting for some of these things, as I said in the mail, this is, an unfortunate time to be doing videos because a lot of stuff you just can't get but uh, that stuff is coming and we'll also be planting this uh, uh, tank and uh, I think it's going to be beautiful when we're done thank you for joining me today I'll see you on the next one until then I'm out of here